What started as a new hobby became a full-time passion for Kelsey Patton. When I was 13, I told my mom that I wanted to knit a sweater, but first we had to get some sheep. And we both just went headfirst down into the rabbit hole of fiber art. Several years later, Kelsey owns the only custom fiber mill in the state where wool and other animal furs into a crafter's dream. People can bring their wool from their own sheep or fiber from their alpacas or llamas or other fiber animals. And then we turn that into their desired end product whether that's yarn or roving or quilt bats or felt. The fiber mill in Stromsburg started small, but now they're running full steam ahead and have clients spanning the U.S. Even people who aren't well versed in fiber arts can find a treasure in Stromsburg. We have some things like socks that are ready to wear and um, greeting cards and jewelry and soap and stickers and things. If you are interested as a visitor, we do give tours and tours are either $20 per group of people or free with a purchase in the storefront. And then we can show you the whole process of how we turn wool into yarn. And since the start of the passport program, Kelsey says their foot traffic has quadrupled. A lot more people are um, discovering our unique business here. Even those who don't knit or crochet are really having a blast coming here. And for the avid crafters, Kelsey says keeping it local matters. If you are a knitter or a crocheter and you really want to support the American sheep industry and specifically the Nebraska sheep industry, uh, the fiber mill is a really fantastic place and way for you to do that. Whether you're stopping for the passport or to buy more crafting supplies, Nebraska's homesteading roots are on display in Stromsburg.